Welcome back, True Seeker. Having a little fun with Chant GPT. The question tonight, the relevance of gematria in the English language. It says, English gematria emerged in the 16th century and has been popularized in esoteric traditions, numerology, and more recently in speculative interpretations like those of Zachary K. Hubbard. How nice of Chant GPT to recognize my work, but speculative, I would disagree with. No, 16th century, though. Again, that's the century of the Jesuits. That's the century they standardized the English alphabet with 26 letters and gave us the Gregorian calendar. And we know it's a synced up system. Now, it mentions the 16th century, but then when you ask Chant GPT, when is the first known use of English gematria? It says, the first known use of English gematria can be traced back to the 19th century. Hmm. Although it did not gain widespread recognition until later, the use of gematria, the practice of assigning numerical values to letters to uncover hidden meanings in words in English, is not as ancient as its use in Hebrew or Greek. The concept of gematria is based on ancient systems like Hebrew gematria and Greek isopsophy, where letters of the alphabet are assigned numerical values. These systems were used for mystical and esoteric purposes, particularly within Kabbalistic and Greek philosophical traditions. In the case of English gematria, scholars and mystics began adapting these systems to the English alphabet in the 19th century, inspired by the earlier practices in Hebrew and Greek. The first recorded use in English... goes on, one of the earliest recorded uses of English gematria appears in the occult literature of the 19th century, particularly within the context of Christian Kabbalah and mysticism. Elephus Zevi, 1810-1875, a French occultist, remember the Jesuits are from France, is one of the figures who explored Kabbalistic concepts and helped popularize them in the Western world. While Levy focused more on Hebrew texts, his influence on the broader esoteric movement helped pave the way for the adapt of gematria into English. Goes on, in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Western occultism, including Theosophy, Rosicrucianism, and Hermeticism began to gain popularity. Figures like Madame Blavatsky, Aleister Crowley, and others in the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn played significant roles in incorporating esoteric numerology and gematria into their teachings. Crowley and others would sometimes adapt the numerical value systems of Hebrew to English words, though this was not yet as systemized systematized as the traditional Hebrew gematria. Adapting to English, the actual system of English gematria, where the letter where each letter is assigned a specific number, likely began to develop in the late 19th century, but did not become widely known until the 20th century, particularly through the work of later occultists and numerologists. A common approach involves assigning numbers to letters based on their position in the alphabet as follows. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, up to Z is 26. Some variants of English gematria apply additional methods such as using reduced or full systems that are aligned with Pythagorean numerology. Popularization in the 20th century. The 20th century saw a rise in the popularity of gematria in the context of modern mysticism in the New Age movement. Authors like Zachary K. Hubbard in the 21st century helped popularize English gematria through books, websites, and online communities. Although his approach is more modern and often combines gematria with numerology and the analysis of current events. Okay, so uh, again, the first name that they assign to popularizing Gematria within English was, where did it go again? Elephus Zevi. And if you look up this man, he was a French esotericist, poet, and writer, initially pursuing an ecclesiastical career in the Catholic Church. Hmm. In the English language goes back to the Catholic Church, the calendar goes back to the Catholic Church, these perfectly coordinated systems established in the 16th century. And remember, this whole Kabbalah thing, forever it was just oral tradition and it wasn't written about to keep be kept secret. So even though this is the guy going down in the history book, 
the first no one again it clearly didn't start with him but again for the uh, guy always out there saying there's no link between the catholic church and gematria in english well uh you need to do better research Initially pursuing an ecclesiastical career in the Catholic Church, he abandoned the priesthood in his mid-twenties and became a ceremonial magician. At the age of 40, he began professing knowledge of the occult. He wrote over 20 books on magic, Kabbalah, alchemical studies, and occultism. So, there you have it. Until next time, True Seeker.